Now, this is hardly a technical rapid on a scale of one to six. It's a two, but the river was uh, the highest it had been in a decade. So I scouted out this rapid, and you can see the commercial outfitter that went down in front of me obviously had no problem with it. And the trick was to avoid this, uh, any fence here, uh, which would have pulled me in and flipped me around and round. So I just came down here. But um, one of these boils unpredictably surged up and grabbed the front tube of my little three pound raft and threw me into the water. And there was a keeper hydraulic about 75 yards downstream. So I was forced to let go of my paddle and clutching the boat with one hand, swim for the shore, just making it before hitting the eddy. And uh, feeling pretty foolish for, for nearly having drowned in a place that I don't think has ever killed anyone. <laughs> and, and now literally being up a creek without a paddle. <laughs> So I walked up and down on the adjoining railroad tracks and found uh, some detritus, a steel bar, and a stick, and a, and a one-foot square of rubber, which I was able to craft a, a very primitive oar out of. And uh, within an hour of this, this capsize, I was paddling down the river, frantically looking for my kayak paddle, not finding it. And um, eventually, um, well, the lesson here, of course, is that never underestimate your own hubris. Um, and th the river is still a, a great force of nature. Even dammed and diverted, it still has the opportunity to flood here. So it's, it's great to be spanked once in a while if you can get away intact while doing it. So a, a dozen miles, a couple hours later, I pulled into the Westwater Ranger Station and nearly flipped a second time because there was an eddy alongside the Ranger Station. And it was swirling pretty quickly. And, I hit the still water and just about flipped because I didn't have a balance of a good paddle. And there's a grizzled veteran kind of standing there watching this whole thing. And uh, uh, he says to me, uh, looks like you're missing something there. <laughs> and uh, he pulls my paddle out from his, his raft. He saw it going by and he thought it was an otter swimming down the river. And it took some quick talking to get it back. And then I uh, gracefully, as I could, accepted the admonishments about traveling alone and not having a spare paddle. And I thought I would get away after that. I thanked him and began backing away. And he said, by the way, where are you going? And I said as meekly as I could, uh, Mexico. <laughs>